Anyone that's navigated social media in the last few years and isn't so progressive that they'll justify criminals and vilify online personalities will tell you that tech companies today seem to be run by bonobo chimps with the moral compass of Justin Trudeau. Take Twitch for instance. Dijon is banned for life for posting L's in Pokimane's chat. Later, a woman literally has sex on stream and gets a three day ban. Hell, I got seven days for so much less. That's not my problem. It's yours. <laughs> Needless to say, after watching these TikToks from pompous 20-somethings in the tech industry who think they're absolutely crushing it to the point of where they have to document their mediocrity, it will all make sense to you now. If you work a job in labor, i.e. anything that doesn't give you cookies when you come through the door, do not watch this video. If you work in sewage, sanitation, construction, nursing, or anything that keeps this dysfunctional society running, please tune off now. You have been warned. You can thank Memeology for him basically staying on me about doing a part two to these horrible tech TikToks. <laughs> Welcome to another day in the life working for LinkedIn Chicago. Get excited guys, because today LinkedIn hosted its second music festival. It's our favorite LinkedIn girl, Nastasia, I believe. Oh my God. I thought being a YouTuber was stress-free. No, apparently working wherever the hell she works. Welcome to another day in the life working for LinkedIn Chicago. Oh, LinkedIn in Chicago. My God. This is a hybrid experience. So each office had their own in-person experiences, but everyone could also stream virtually. So I got to the office, picked up my usual breakfast. There was a long line for coffee. So I had to get some nitro cold brew and literally sprinted to a meeting that I was late for with one of the interns. LinkedIn has always been like this piece of garbage. Like, honestly, whenever someone goes to me, check out my LinkedIn profile, I immediately lose a great deal of respect for them. And now after watching this, I never want to see LinkedIn again. What type of job is this? This woman's getting a fully nutritious meal. She's had more food and nutrients in one breakfast than I've probably had in a month. Christ almighty, that looks delicious. I'm quite thirsty. And had to try out our special drink of the day, which was like a blackberry fizz. A blackberry fizz is today's drink. I didn't even get drinks this good in kindergarten. <laughs> you got the, the carton of milk and that was it. If you're lactose intolerant, they told you to suck it up. Headed to lunch and this is where the festivities began. What the living hell is this, Bobby? Dog house, they haven't custom made Hot dogs in the building? I sure am hungry. We had essentially a mini taste of Chicago with a lot of local vendors. Oh my God, look at this. It's delicious. Of course, the LinkedIn cupcakes have the rainbow flag because we need to be completely inclusive. God forbid you eat a cupcake that isn't gay friendly. Eat most of the stuff because it had gluten in it. Oh no, the cupcakes had gluten. Oh my God, no. It's like we're living in the dark ages, Fluffy. But look how pretty and fun this was. There was a photo booth. We had to go pick up our swag. Not a huge fan of the t-shirt, but it's fun. We got glow sticks too. And I took a mini break, played some ping pong with James. Glow sticks. I haven't seen a glow stick since I was a child. I thought they stopped producing those. Good Lord, this is a job. What does she do? I never see this girl work ever, ever. Fluffy does more work. Took a mini break, played some ping pong with James. He did beat me. Got a snack after that tiring game and then- Got a snack after that tiring game and then- Oh boy, ping pong in the middle of the day. This is why like tech sites suck so much. You can't get any help from anybody, even on YouTube. They're probably all drinking their special Jamba juice with like the rainbow coalition flag color theme. And I'm talking to like Shwia's Yarmi in India as he tries to convince me his name is Bobby Fletcher. Or I'm talking to a robot that doesn't understand satire and nuance while they eat specially made kettle chips and sea salt. What is this? Bro, what is this? I am beginning to have a mental breakdown. Those 360 cameras, a sip cart, wine tasting. Dude, there's more work in me being a YouTuber than this. I cannot believe it. I'm getting triggered. Live music. There were a lot of people what? here, but not that many people were dancing. Who has a music festival at their job? 
that has wine tasting, dancing, a 3D camera thingy. But not that many people were dancing. Of course not many people were dancing. You people would probably pass out from the exhaustion of being forced to use your bodies. Literally this entire array of like beers, seltzers, anything we wanted. Black Dog Gelato came and so there was ice cream, so yummy. Here's Edgar <laughs> enjoying his ice cream. There were tarot card readings. Tarot card reading? What type of job is this? I can't do this. No wonder Memeology can't push. This is terrible. I'd rather watch DSP. I'm not even joking. I would watch a Tevin stream, restreaming Dark Side Phil four hours straight and not be bothered. And my new friend Will, say hi, had his photo booth set up. There were even caricatures, and I was truly humbled, if you can't tell, by this caricature of me. Caricatures? It's not a f***ing job, they're at the county fair. Grabbed another drink, we also had little koozies, and then finally headed home after a long day. It was like 5.30. Finally headed home after a long day of my special Jamba Juice, caricatures, live music, dinner, dancing, and movies. We played ping pong. And then I came home to grill. It was such a nice day outside, so we made some food and then watched some Love Island. Good night, guys. What type of day is this? That was like a vacation. I didn't see a work day here. I saw nothing but frivolous garbage. Oh, my brain hurts. It's only one minute and 24 seconds. No wonder she deleted this. If I followed her, I'd unfollow. I'd be like, no, I have a real job that sucks. Work isn't supposed to be fun and playtime. That's why they called it work. You know, back when people lived in the dark ages farming, the children didn't get up at the crock of dawn and said, yes, now I get to go plant corn. <laughs> Huzzah! Oh, uh, here's one in Google. I can only imagine how tough that it is, considering nobody at Google's human when you need help. What I spend in a day as a 23 year old living in LA working in tech. So I drove to the office, my gas and car payment a day is around $22. I miss breakfast, but they always have these great little packaged snacks and goodies and that's provided and also lunch is provided. This is probably the best perk of working in tech is the free food. What? Google's giving away free breakfast, lunch and dinner? Also, the free cafe, you can order any drink you want, matcha, coffee, I had a matcha today, delicious. All the drinks and snacks at the office are also provided, and a little game room mental health moment, which is free, we love it. How can there never be anyone you need to talk to at YouTube? But everybody at Google's playing Pac-Man, having free pizza and drinks? You know why you can't find a human? Because everybody's too busy taking naps! Oh, mental health moments. I could talk to you about mental health when your YouTube page just starts flagging you all of a sudden because you had too much fun in your last video. Whoa, we got some adrenaline in your blood, douchebag. <laughs> you need to scale it back. You were a little too mean to She-Hulk. After work, I booked a Pilates class, but it was actually $15 because my work pays for one third of it as a personal development thing. I liked it so much, I booked a $1.99 monthly unlimited pass, turned to $1.31, and then some free stuff from brands because I'm a creator and I'm super thankful. Some lunch leftovers, which were free, and this Trader Joe leftover dinner that was also free. And I stole this cookie from work and the total was $1.68 and follow for more. No, I'm not following for more. What I just saw was someone pretty much cruise through the day eating for free. What is this? Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. Still, no more videos. Oh my God, this is just so insulting. Like if things went <laughs> up and we went to war or something, I assure you all these tech workers would be on the streets looking for food. I got like eight more videos. I've not watched them all in one setting, dude. And then I have to edit the video and watch it again. Now I'm out. Maybe next time.